We have Brook Laddie's 18-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. This is one of my most highly anticipated releases of this year. Is it going to live up to all the hype? Is this 18-year-old really going to be as good as everyone thinks it's going to be? Is it actually going to be a big letdown for me and I'm going to be left crying in the corner? Only one way to find out. Stick around. Hello and welcome to Lacorious George. My name is George and today I'm going to be getting curious with Brook Laddie's new release their 18 year old single malt scotch whiskey. So this might be one of the most highly anticipated releases, at least for me, for this year. When I heard this was coming out, I got super excited. I'm a big, big fan of Brook Laddie as a distillery. Uh, love the classic Laddie, love the Octomore releases, as well as the Port Charlottes. So to hear that they were putting out something with a little bit more age on it, really got me excited. If you're not familiar with the Brook Laddie distillery, I highly suggest you try and check them out. They're located out on the island of Isla, but as a distillery, they're really trying to push the boundaries of whiskey. They pay attention to a lot of different things like the terroir, the different varieties of barley that they're using. So there's usually a yearly release out there with some different strain of barley that they're using. And really just overall as a company, they're really cool, very sustainable, um, you know, certified B Corp, all that kind of good stuff. So you should really check them out if you haven't yet. As far as their whiskey goes, I think their unpeated style is really approachable for those who might not even be into scotch that much and kind of bridges the gap a little bit to see what the elements and what the flavor of Isla is like without getting that heavy peat that you're usually used to. So recently they've tried to make a move away from a lot of the packaging they used to use. As you can see, this is kind of a cardboard sleeve that's wrapping the bottle. Usually they used to send it out in like a metal tin, um, but now they're moving to more sustainable packaging, which is also very nice for the environment. So the 18 year old is coming to us at 50% ABV. Um, I've heard others complain about it being 50%. It should be a little bit higher, maybe cask strength. Not a big concern for me. Um, I think 50%, it's probably a sweet spot for this and we'll see what it comes out with when it, we get to the nose and the flavors and things like that. But I've always really liked Brook Laddie's labeling and bottle design. I think it's very simple, but also has a little bit of a nice edge to it. This is really nice glass stopper, by the way, instead of the normal cork. Oh, that smells good. Let's pour ourselves a little bit. So the color may be a little bit darker than the Class Gladi if you've ever looked at that. I don't have a bottle here. I should have poured one just to do a little bit of a comparison, but it probably has a little bit more of a color. So this whiskey was primarily aged in ex-bourbon casks, but it does have some red wine cask in there as well. So it's got a little bit of color from that. And if you just take a look at the viscosity of it, it looks pretty thick, a little bit oily. So I'm gonna be interested to see what it's like in the mouthfeel. All right, let's dive in and see what it smells like. All right, so the nose is very reminiscent of the classic Laddie if you've ever had that but it's definitely kicked up a notch. It starts off with some nice sweet honeyed fruits. It's got some tropical notes in there. I'm getting some really nice vanilla off of that too. So I'm sure that's coming from the 18 years in the bourbon casks. The nose in general is just really bright. It's kind of citrusy, kind of floral. Kind of like if you were walking through a nice open field in springtime, got flowers and things all over the place. It's just really, really enjoyable. Yeah, I can't wait to dig into this. I'm just going to give it a taste. So the mouthfeel on this is very nice. It's not super thick, but it definitely coats your mouth nice. It gets everything all over your tongue. I'm really getting a lot of that honey, that fruitiness that I got on the nose. I'm actually getting a decent amount of butterscotch and vanilla. So I think the 18 years in those bourbon casks is really showing. It has a little bit of a syrupy quality to it. I'm definitely tasting that, those cereal notes in here as well. I think the nose was much more floral than the palate is. I'm not getting a whole lot of flowers and things like that here on the taste. When you come in for a few sips, you definitely start to get some of those notes that you would expect out of older whiskeys. So the oak is coming through a little bit more. I want to say there's a little bit of leather that I'm getting in here, but not a whole lot of it. So the finish on this is probably one of my favorite things about it, actually, which is sometimes odd to say. But it has a very distinct maritime mineral type of a note to it. So a lot of times with the distilleries either out on the islands or along the coastline, you get this kind of maritime mineral note. It's almost as if you take in some salt and some seawater, tossed it up on the rocks on the coastline. 
So it's kind of got this salty mineral type of a taste in your mouth, you know, or if you've had, you know, a bottle of mineral water that's really high in mineral content and you kind of get some of that dryingness, you know, right in the sides of your tongue, that's kind of where I'm getting at with it. And it's just really enjoyable for me because it mixes along with that sweet honey, um, a little bit of oak in there. Some of that floralness is coming back now on the finish, now that you've kind of gone through the, the palette itself and it's kind of fading away. So that floral is coming back. The finish is just really, really nice. As always, I'm gonna add a few drops of water. Yeah, wow, the water really, I think the most distinct thing that it did was open it up a bit. It's got a bit more of a peppery note to it now though it definitely wasn't there before. I definitely couldn't pick up on it before. Yeah, so overall here, I'm very happy with this. As I mentioned, I was already a fan of Brooklady, so I was really excited for this release to come out. I think it definitely lived up to the hype for me, at least. It, it's, it's very similar to the classic Laddie taste, but it's got a little more age on it. It's a little bit more robust. So obviously, I think, too, it's going to depend on what you can get this for. Um, I, I've seen this anywhere from you know 180 US dollars up to closer to 200 depending on where you're at. But I think for an 18 year old, it might be a little bit on the pricier side, but you know, I think it's worth it. I'm a big fan of the distillery itself. Um, it's definitely something a little bit different, I think. So for all you guys out there, you've been able to get your hands on a bottle. What do you think? Maybe you even got a taste at least. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you, have a conversation. Um, but until next time, everyone stay curious and cheers.